three, two, one, I'm on. I need to go to makeup. I feel. <laughs> Here's Josh. Three, two, one, go. We are live at 11.05. And welcome. I am bad with names, but I think it was Todd that was sick the other day. Todd, hopefully you're feeling better. And I don't remember who. Just some parts here. Who was going to, somebody's going to be in surgery today. Do you remember who posted I that? I don't. We pray all goes well there. Uh, welcome to our intimate little group. Like I said uh, yesterday, ultimately by the time this video is done being watched, there'll be about a thousand of us gathered together, which in today's media world, that's a pretty small intimate group. And I am BC with Spirit Cars. This is Josh, the voice of Spirit Cars, behind the camera, <laughs> waving. Very good. We got your camera shots of you fixing the camera yesterday. A um, couple things. Start off by saying if you want to get this live feed and be notified when it goes, there's somewhere while you're watching it live that you can push a button and it will notify you of that. I'm not sure how it does that. Also, we talked about YouTube several times and uh, how we're going to do YouTube and blah, blah, blah. We've been doing YouTube for probably, I don't know, how old is YouTube? 10 years, 12 years, 15 years. We've been doing a long time. If you go to T Bucket TV um, on YouTube, what is that? Our you go, I think it'll be www.youtube.com forward slash T Bucket TV. Or we got another one now, another channel, Spirit uh, Cars. Spirit Cars, and I'm working on getting the forward slash spirit cars on there okay so pretty much i think i would say there's a hundred plus is there hundreds of videos there's a lot of videos and uh like i, I mentioned yesterday and i think i put it in the comment uh some of them are pretty high you know good production value and some of them are just not as good a production value but uh they're generally the same theme it, it gives you an idea of um we tried to keep it um a tech oriented and, and some of its customer cars so today we're doing customer cars, and uh, I talked a little bit about uh, the importance of having a regulator on your carburetor yesterday, and we're going to talk about it today, but I changed my mind. What we're going to do is talk about gas tank installation. We didn't have any gas tanks in stock for this 27. Again, this is a spirit car. We do things based around spirit, so uh, these applications work across the board, don't. I had Sean bend me up a couple pieces. This is how we build a gas tank. Pretty simple. There'll be a couple other flanges on here to bolt it down and some other things, but we put it on the plastic table. I said, at least give me this much today, and then I want the gas tank now so I can install it. But think about it. Make as little, a few pieces as you can. Do as many bends as you can. Obviously, we've got a press brake that makes things easier, but if you buy metal from a... Um, a steel supply, metal supply place, a lot of times they'll have a break and they'll have a shear. Uh, we cut this with our plastic table, but so a simple wall the corner, press, pressure test it. Um, here's a hint if you're going to be building a, a unique tank uh, where it's more than just measure here, measure here, measure here, you know, if you want to go down and make a sump in it and go around, build yourself a cardboard tank. Simple, just get some cardboard cut the piece, cut the piece, cut the piece, tape it all together, um, make sure the tank fits where you want it. Then you've got the exact dimensions, really. And you can pull that cardboard tank out, and then when you pull it out, take a look at it and go, all right, uh, if I cut these three pieces of one piece and I bend here, and if I cut this piece of like that and maybe bend it here and have a piece here, I do as few pieces as you can and as many bends as you can, it'll just reduce the welding. And uh, it's the best way I've found to figure out how to get the most out of your space. Because in a hot rod, we are generally tight on space when it comes to uh, uh, putting a tank. It's just there's not a lot of room in the cars, and and that is what it is. But that's what it is. Uh, we build our tanks out of steel. We do stainless steel tanks. We do aluminum tanks. We can do whatever. Generally, they're steel. Um, we don't we don't do custom tanks. Do we want to do custom tanks? No. No. <laughs> so you can make your cardboard pattern, but you can probably find a local place to weld it up for you. Just make sure they pressure test it and uh, and that there's no leaks in it. But that would be an easy way to do it. I'm putting the gauge. I've got the gauges in it. Now I'm getting my sending units. This is a, a dolphin kit. 
comes with the uh, sending unit for the tank. Now if you can see, this is the size it comes. This is the float, goes up and down. What I'm going to need to do, this is adjustable where the float goes. You can see all this. Let me get this up out of the way. Slide that up. Now what I'm going to do, this is the tank, this will be the top of the tank, this will be the side of the tank. Now this has got to go all the way into it, so it's obviously too long. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this off, and I'll just do it here so you can see me do it. Do you have any new safety glasses sitting around? Somewhere. I'm going to say the first one to say I didn't wear my safety glasses. We ought to give them a pair of safety glasses. Can we do that? <laughs> I don't want any. <laughs> we don't have any. We do. We, do, we generally have uh, safety glasses by the box so that everybody here has their safety glasses. And my safety glasses are in my truck. But I've actually got bifocals on my safety glasses. So safety glasses are good. Just a hint. Uh, I've never scored well when I had to do testing on the safety part of the tests. And I have had metal drilled out of my eye three times, which is as stupid as it can be, and that was not the way to do it. Um, or holding, holding it in your hand while you're cutting. <laughs> no vice. Yeah. But we're live at 11.05, and it's yeah. the show must go on. So here we go. i got it cut. Now, it's going to fit in the tank. You'll put a, a little um, plate up here, have the holes all drilled and tapped, so I can just stick it in there. Here is the key. Because I'm sure we've all had a car that um, we thought it was full and it wasn't, or we thought it was empty and it wasn't, or we thought we had gas and it was empty. This has got to travel. Now it's not based on the length of this. I've got this a little short of the tank. This is based on the length of the tank. So what I want to do is get a measurement from the top of the tank or where the top of this is sitting in relation to where this is actually going to be in the tank, this part, the sender itself, to the bottom of the tank. So I'm going to have it basically in the middle. Now you see the arm goes up and down. It goes all the way up, it goes all the way down, or it could go that far up and it could go that far down. But you want it to go all the way up and all the way down. And I'm not going to cut this piece here, an explanation should be good enough. But you can see on the end of this how it's bent. It's going to go into this, and this will crimp over to hold it. Now, if I left this thing this whole length, instead of, you know, that's all the way down, it would stop here, and it would show that I've still got a quarter tank of gas. And I would fill it completely up, and I come to here, and it would probably show that I have three quarters of a tank of gas, when in fact, it'd be full. Full has to be traveled all the way up to there. So, pretty simple. You take and cut this down to where... This one's going to be pretty short, but you cut it down to about there, so I'm full up there, full down there. Make sure you leave enough room to bend your little 90 on the end of it. Stick it in there, crimp it over, put your tank in. A real simple, there's one, one wire to hold it. The tank itself is grounded. Uh, any other tips on a tank? Do this. I don't even know what it costs, but do it. We always do it. How much is a bung? A bung with an on-off, a valve, probably can't cost, what, 10 bucks, 12 bucks for a nice yeah. one? It's cheap. So on the bottom of your tank, where you're going to have the outlet come, put a cutoff. Um, so you've got a valve that you can turn the gas off. If you're working on the car, then you don't, you know, you'll have a little bit of gas come out of the line, but you won't have to mess around and, you know, have the rubber hose and flip it over and, you know, clamp it with your vice grips or whatever you got to do to keep all the gas from running out. I would just recommend doing that. For the extra couple bucks, you're already a lot more than that into the car. Just put that on your tank. Um, so we're there. We should have a tank tomorrow. I'll put it in. Um, just working on motor stuff. Somebody said we need some valve covers. Yep. They were like special order or out of stock or they're on a slow boat from China or yeah, did they you were find some? Yeah, I found some. Okay, so we got, you'll see me dressing up the motor here in a couple days. So we're, 
Friday. Today's Thursday. Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Christmas Eve is on Saturday. Christmas is on Sunday. We have to... Tom, he had a suggestion. We need, what do we need? A, a, a dog and we need a kid and we, what else is going to increase our, our viewership? There was something else. So maybe maybe you need to come by. We'll do a Christmas show. You think? Yeah. Get at the house. We'll get all the we'll get all the components. Everything will be all warm and fuzzy. Now, Mr. Larry T. I have a surprise for you. If Josh turns around and does a pan out from about this angle, we need an approval here. This is Mr. It's not there. Larry's not here? Oh, it's not there. <laughs> it's not there. It's, it's not gone. There. It, no, it's not there. It was there. It's not there. Where is it? Okay, there it is. It's kind of been hanging out, doing nothing for a while. We've uh, we've done a lot on this. Uh, Mr. T, Larry T, brought us this body and we changed up a lot. I mean, we changed up around the windows and the, uh, the body lines and did some stuff on the deck lid and it's pro treated and um, we got we got ladder bars on the bottom here and radius rods are really nice. Probably got 80 hours in the chassis. <laughs> <laughs> With some changes and modifications, we had uh, quite a bit of discussion on the on what we wanted the, the shocks to look like and we finally come up to this and I think that looks really sharp. Um, these are motorcycle headlights. They fit on here really, really good. Why don't you just pan around so I'm sure Larry is, uh, uh, is watching. Larry's always watching. We're one of our our best uh, viewers. Or how does, how does that are? He might be bowling. He might. He could be bowling. Check out if you go bowling in Iowa. Yep. What's the name of this bowling alley? Oh, I don't know that. Well, just go and look for in the phone book uh, Larry T's uh, uh, awesome bowling alley, and you can probably find it right in the phone book there. I have an idea for up here, though. This is, this is an idea we'll have to share before we're done. What we're wanting to do now is just get a look at the stance, get Larry's approval. And I'm liking it. This is where we're at. This is going to be the stance-wise. We'll have headers come down, kind of fill some of this gap coming in here. I'm going to have to drop the radiator down a little bit. It's touching on top of the... I don't know if I'm going to drop it down in the cross member. I've got a little bit of a gap here, or raise it up. I'll just make sure it fits on here. We're using a 32 drill shell. No, yeah, are we using a 32 drill shell? No, Model A. Model A drill shell. And it's back there. It says we have t 10 comments so far, but I haven't seen any. <laughs> okay, well, we're commenting, but nobody, we can't see it. We'll work on that. Okay, so this will be painted. Steel. A steel grill shell. I need, to, I need to tell corporate you'll we need be, a little. You'll be seeing it when I yeah tell corporate we need some. We uh, need a laptop. Stuff. Okay, it fits in there. We're gonna have to maybe dolly it back a little bit. This will go down some. It wants to go all the way down past the cross member. There you go. Okay. Trim that out. Make that fit in there. I'm liking it. If Josh wasn't at the camera, I'd make him hold this so I could stand back and get a profile, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it good. Yeah, that'll look tough. This is going to be a really nice car. I mean, we try to make all nice cars, but Larry's really thought this out and it's got a lot of features. Here's what I'm thinking, though. At first, I was like, well, we just can't have a bolt here. we got to have a you know, bullet. But then, you know how they got them bullet-looking turn signals? Have we got turn signals picked out yet? Are we going to do turn signals in the front? or? I don't remember. I'll have to look. But they got them bullet looking little lights. If we put one of them up in here, that would kind of match and blend the, blend this, or we could somehow fit something in there. So uh, we probably need to get on a search for that. Uh, we're, about, we're about there on this one. All we need is Larry's approval. And. Uh, Get this thing fully welded up, probably get the chassis painted and put it together and work on the body. We got uh, uh, Mr. Larry A. We didn't forget about you there, Mr. Larry A. Uh, we're, we're getting excited that thing's um, getting body work done in the body shop. Paint. Yeah, we're working on that. So we'll, I'm not sure which one of these two is going to make it to assembly first. 
but uh, I'll try to just stay focused like we're on this 27 once we get to assembling. Uh, that one will get done first. Um, we'll look it over all the parts. So anyway, that one's coming up. That's about all we got for today. Josh called me up last night and says, you're talking, who are you talking to? Do they uh, speak in English at least? Mm, sort of. Sort of? So it's a Mexican production company for a movie? Yeah, they're in Mexico somewhere. So they're wanting to build a build a car, a Model A for their movie. And I, you were talking to production assistant or what were you? Yeah. So I said, no, nah, I'm too old to get all psyched up. And so, I mean, there's two things. It's either if they just need background cars, well, that's one thing. But uh, let's walk over here. But if they're wanting a car, sometimes there's a car that just is as important as the best actor in the car. And if they want one of those, I'd rather play with my goats and chickens when it comes down to it. But it'd be high pressure. So we'll see if Josh pulls off that deal. But here, I wanted to show you is this, it this one. car. not done yet. No, not that one. Not that one, not this one. Some of you might recognize this car. It's one of them famous movie cars. Okay, we're going to give something away. I don't know what but it is. But I can't see the comment to know who the person is. Well, well you'll see by what, uh, but whoever whoever can name this car. It's a famous movie car. And just uh, tell us what movie it was in. And when you tell us that, then, I don't know, we'll give them something. Truly, we can find something around here. Handshake. <laughs> <laughs> when you come down live in person. Yeah. So this is getting rolled and tucked. Well, if you can see some of this, we'll get some lights in it when... There's your light right there. Oh, here we go. LED. I'll open the other door. And yes, it only has three three carburetors. The other one is getting repaired okay, by the to, customer. I'm this side over here. Oh. Okay, you got to be a little patient with live TV sometimes, but... Here, here is a tip of the day. This is a, uh, a light from my aquarium. Oh man, they are awesome. This is an aquarium light. So we're rolled and tucked. And Eddie loves it. <laughs> it is hard to do. It takes a, it's a lot. So he's got the headliner in, stretching around, getting the sides in. He's got the seats made. This is a really nice car. I mean, this is, this will be a really nice car. It's probably gonna be done. It'll be done this week or next week. And be going out of here, but we'll go ahead and try to get you get you a. Uh, let me get my yellow books here over here. Oh, and I almost moved this one. This is a shop car I've been working on for two years, and luckily there's no customer car that's been here even close to that long. But I think I'm going to move it over into the the welding area and, and finish mocking up. Uh, my steering on this in the next little bit. Probably after the first or after Christmas, but I'm, I'm kind of excited about this car, so. Unless it goes to Australia. <laughs> he may have sold it to Australia, but either way, it's time for coffee break contemplations or pass it on. Let's pass it on. Okay. Pass it on. <clears throat> glasses out here. A friend of mine, Ernie, from Call Him the Hot Rod Man, wrote these books. Um, and they are available on Amazon. So Ernie Gilcrease, you can get that real close there. Ernie O. Gilchrist. Ernie O. Gilcrease. Hey, it's even got a little bar on there for that. Oh, this is perfect for Christmas. It's coming up. It is not the price of the gift, but the thought behind it. That makes it priceless. So you got two days, guys. I'm still waiting till tomorrow. I'll do my shopping tomorrow. But I'm, I actually got the. Don't buy your wife socks. No, don't buy your wife or a ceiling fan. I did that once we were early in our marriage. Oh boy! Not even. Don't even go there with that one. I thought we needed a ceiling fan pretty bad. And anyway, <laughs> we're, we'll end on that note. Do not buy a ceiling fan. Have a good day.